DUT Day Today provides an opportunity for the DUT community to showcase and learn about the different types of data and how we use data at our university. This focus on institutional data and on understanding the importance of applying data to guide decision making within our institution contextualizes DUT Day Today within the field of empirical institutional research which is applied research about our institution and for our institution. As the university begins implementing its new strategic plan, what existing and new data are important in helping us move towards achieving our vision and our 12 strategic objectives? How are we using data for planning, decision making and improving what we do? And in this way, help transform DUT into an institution that participates productively in society and contributes to improving lives and livelihoods. The DUT Data Day Awards are awarded to an outstanding presentation on how data is being used to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030 for each of our four perspectives, namely stewardship, systems and processes, sustainability and society. In recognition of the best presentation and the perspective of stewardship awarded to the student feedback from the first year student survey, which is an initiative of the Sia Pumalela project by Dr. Ku Parker, awarded to an outstanding presentation of how data is being used to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030. So how do we in the Sia Pumalela project, uh, which is actually run through uh, institutional planning, how do we, do, we, we, do we use data to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030? So the Sia Pumalela project contributes to the institutional research agenda at DUT. And institutional research is research about an institution, in other words, about DUT for the institution. You know, the idea is that we want to improve planning, processes, operations, how we do things. It's research about improving, it's practical research. And then uh, what we also do is, or more importantly, is we actually then engage with and build communities of practice at DUT. So we disseminate our, our data, our findings to faculties and other structures, but the engagement is the more important um, thing that I want to focus on. And building communities of practice at DUT around evidence-based student success work. In recognition of the best presentation and the perspective of systems and processes awarded to the Management Information Reporting by Raja Naika, awarded to an outstanding presentation on how data is being used to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030. Uh, with regard to how we use data to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030, our focus is going to be to improve systems and processes in alignment with the uh, vision. Uh, so in 2019, we launched Power Heater. Uh, we didn't have some kind of exposure to this. So it's given us the opportunity at the Department of Management Information to provide access to information. So currently we've got 128 registered users. Uh, we've developed 63 dashboards and about 91 reports. And to date, we have 174 academic heads of department and support staff trained at faculty workshops. For the future, we want to create a customized BI intelligence uh, reporting, dashboards and data models per departmental needs. We want to build capacity of staff in the use of data, and this we want to do by continuing the training workshops, and we want to focus on targeted groups and, and departments as well. And our final focus is to develop business intelligence analytics capacity for staff at DUT. In recognition of the best presentation and the perspective of sustainability awarded to the statutory reporting data DUT research outputs by Pelasiwe Kaere, awarded to an outstanding presentation on how data is being used to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030. The RPS it shows us the research relevance that I mean the research relevance to the industry and society and the impact of the research that is being carried out at DUT. The data also reveals uh, if we are aligned to the sustainable development goals um, because it is very important for us when we do these uh, activities that we also see what the, the priorities and what the, the bigger agenda is 
outside of DUT. And also thirdly, the data show, uh, helps us to measure the technology readiness level of the research that is being undertaken in the institution. In recognition of the best presentation and the perspective of society, awarded to the sharing of data on homeless and substance use in Itakweni, and how this was used in creating safe open spaces and a harm reduction program for homeless people in withdrawal by Professor Monique Marx, awarded to an outstanding presentation on how data has been used to transform DUT in line with Envision 2030. What does this all, all say, I think, about DUT, um, the Urban Future Centre in particular, is that I think that we've taken a lead as an innovator in regards to providing services to the most marginal and vulnerable population grouping in our country, and that is homeless people, particularly homeless people with a substance use disorder. But it also means that we are in the process of developing drug policy and implementation models um, through the work um, during lockdown, but now through the harm reduction centre, um, which we have running, partnering with um, a public health NGO called Advanced Access and Delivery, but with very close relationships with the Office of the Mayor and the Deputy Mayor. Um, and people are welcome to come and see this in action um, at our harm reduction centre. A special mention to the best take two video awarded to Tendai Chiwanda Miura from the Faculty of Arts and Design and is a master's student. A special thank you to all of our DUT Day Today presenters for taking part and a special thank you to our DUT Day Today adjudicators.